Hey everyone, so I've been diving into Jungian psychology. It's like regular psychology, but with more mystical and hard to pronounce words. Ever heard of archetypes? They're like the original emojis of the human psyche. Jung's got this idea of the hero archetype. In my life, that's the person who can find my phone on silent. True heroes, they don't wear capes, they carry phone chargers. Then there's the shadow. Sounds like a cool superhero, right? But in Jungian terms, it's the part of you that you don't really show. Like me, at a buffet, when they say it's closing in five minutes. Archetypes are everywhere, even in high art. You see a painting with a bunch of shapes, and it's the struggle of humanity. I did that to my kindergarten. It's please see the school counselor. And symbolism in art. A blue square means sadness. A red circle, passion. I put both in my laundry. It means I should have sorted my colors better. Let's not forget about the anima and animus. They're like the gender roles in your subconscious. I asked my anima for dating advice. It said, just be yourself. Worst advice ever. Thanks, subconscious. In conclusion, Jungian psychology and high art, they make you think. Like, why did I pay so much for this therapy session? when I could have just watched a sitcom and figured it all out. Thanks, folks. You've been great. Remember next time you see a weird painting, just think, it's just your archetypes trying to have a chat.